Hey there, Storm fans, Brian Cook, and today we're playing Modern Goblin Charbelcher. This deck actually top a modern challenge this past weekend from Magic Online user Micrograms, and it's got a pretty new sweet card in it for March in the Machine Aftermath. I'm talking about Reckless Handling. It's one in a red for a sorcery. Search your library for an artifact card, discard a card at random. If this card at random discard was an artifact, it deals two to each opponent. So you have sort of a lesser gamble in modern now. So ideally you'd get Goblin Charbelcher with it and easily win the game. Pretty sweet. You can also find your main deck on Junior Explosives that answer something like a needle that would be stopping you from winning the game. Okay. Well, Engineered Explosives also works very well with an offer you can't refuse because it's a spell that costs zero, so you can counterspell it and then go up to two treasures. This usually happens with Recross the Paths. So this deck, you often stack your entire deck using Recross the Paths into Reforge the Soul. And then from there, you can counter your own Engineered Explosives with an offer you can't refuse to cast a pair of Pyrotic Ritual, Iron Craig Feet, and then Goblin Charbelcher. That is a common path to victory. And it's pretty sweet. I've played this deck here on the channel before. If you're interested in those videos, just use the search function. I'm sure you'll find it. In the sideboard, we have Veil of Summer and then Pyromancer Ascension. And this is another way you can beat something like Main Deck Needle, for example. So you can build piles using Recross the Paths and Pyromancer Ascension, where you cast a Pyretic Ritual, Mana Morphose, make some mana, and then double Balagad Recovery. And eventually you create a few extra mana per loop and then you gain a few cards per loop and you can cast a Mirio's call to make a bunch of angels or you can even spike field hazard them out depending on their life total so there's some interesting things you can do i kind of feel like this card is a little bit win more in today's day and age because like i'd rather just win via force of vigor or whatever or use my engineering explosives but this is a fine plan like there's nothing wrong with playing it it's just i don't think you need it anymore is all Veil of Summer is like probably the best protection spell in the format. We have Leyline for discard decks. Veil of Summer also comes in against those. Magus of the Moon for Amulet Titan. You might be saying, why not Blood Moon? Well, Blood Moon is actually easier for them to answer due to Force of Vigor. So having Magus of the Moon is actually more effective. It's less good against the five color pile decks like the uh, Creativity decks, for example. But it's still fine there. And then some Furies. Fury is good because you can also search for it using Recross the Path. So if for some reason there's like a Thalia or a Meddling Mage or whatever, you have a tutorable answer. And I'm a big fan of this inclusion in the deck. So that is my deck tech. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. I hope you enjoyed what I've shared with you. And I sincerely hope that you like the rest of the video. Stick around, find out, and watch match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsworm.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsworm.com slash donation decks that's enough for now let's play some magic match number one on the play with belcher okay so we have a reckless handling we have the reforge which is a little bit awkward hmm so we have a way to tutor out belcher we could do it on turn two i think that's probably good enough we'll keep this i really wish that i had an untapped red source between spike field hazard and Valakut Awakening, both of these lands come into play tapped, so I can't play Striker Rich on the first turn. I have to go turn one tap land, turn two lightning bolt myself for the Seagate Restoration, and then Reckless Handling. Okay, we'll play the Hazard past the turn. I believe the actual name is Spikefield Cave. Yeah, past the turn. Misty Rainforest. Another Striker Rich. Yes. And now we'll play the Reckless Handling. Goblin Charbelcher. We discarded the Reforge. That was probably the best case scenario for us. A Regrin Triome. You got it. We do have to be worried a little bit about Leyline Binding on our Belcher. Temple Garden. Ren. Yep. Ren and six. Draw. That was a good one. Okay, so here we'll play the Valakut Awakening. 
Anamorphose. And ideally, I would draw Pact of... Whoa, I did not want to do that. It just, like, added blue-blue super fast. What? Ah, uh, what? I can't play Striker Rich now. And I won't let me undo. That stinks. Okay. Uh, that's frustrating. I was trying to play a pair of Striker Rich. So I guess we need to draw a Ritual now? Or I am delayed a turn. And Dolpha Triome. And they pick up another land. They discard a Solitude. We hit the Ritual. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cast the Valakut Awakening. Because I want to see if I can draw into Pact of Negation. But maybe that's dumb when I have the Iron Crag. I don't know. Now we'll draw three. Play the Smashing. Pass the turn. I'm aware that I could have won for right there. But if for some reason, if our opponent's on a list with Spell Pierce, I just don't want to be punished by that. There's a chance that they're not because this isn't creativity, but you never know. Oh, Adamri's Call. Okay. I'm looking at a deck list right now. And it looks like they have no interaction in the main deck other than Leyline Binding. So I was actually free to just go for it on the last turn. So that's on me. Uh, we could have won last turn. They don't have... Assuming that they're on the list that did well in a challenge this past weekend. I should have just been free to win. Okay, so they have the new printed card Nissa Resurgent Animist. Two and a green for a 3-3 legendary creature elf scout. Landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. Add one man of any color. So it's sort of similar to a Lotus Cobra. And then if this ability resolved the second time this turn, reveal the top cards of your deck until you reveal an elf or elemental card. Okay, time to party. And we hit the Pact of Negation. Heretic Ritual. Iron Craig Feet. Goblin Charbelcher. Activate. Yeah, I was just free to go for it last turn, so that's on me. My fault. Sweet. Their sideboard has two Flusterstorm. I don't know if that's really worth boarding Veil vale Summer because Flusterstorm doesn't hit our most important card. Uh, three Chalice of the Void. Once again, I don't know if Chalice is a card I actually care about here. Force of Vigor, Endurance. I mean, part of me thinks we might just want to resubmit because our deck is already set up to be the most functional possible. Do I think boarding in Veil of Summer is wrong? No. I th also think you could probably board in the Ascension if you really wanted to, but I just don't think that you necessarily need to board in this matchup. All right, so game two, we're on the draw. We've opened up a hand with tons of mana, but nothing to do other than cast this Valakut Awakening. And I'm not sure if that's actually good enough, so we'll mulligan instead. We have two lands and recross the paths. Sure. Bottom the offer you can't refuse. Misty Rainforest. Draw. Mana Morphose. So that means that I can play recross the paths on turn two. I grab a Triome. And another Triome. Draw. Act of Negation. Yes. Desperate Ritual. Cast. Metamorphose. We will not instantly hit blue blue. I don't know what happened last time, if I'm being honest, but we're adding green. Reckless Handling. Let's cast the Recrods. Turn Timber goes first. And then from there, we have to build a pile that wins. So we can do Offer, Explosives, Seagate, which is three. Belcher would be four. Ritual, Ritual, Iron Crag is seven. So we'll reforge, then Offer, Explosives, Seagate, that's three. Belcher is four. Ritual, Ritual, Iron Crag Feet. We'll do some more Belchers, I guess. I don't know. Some lands. And I think from here I can just do the rest as random. Put this on the bottom of our deck. And now we'll pass. Hollowed Fountain. Uh-oh. I think this Teferi is actually going to stop me from casting the Reforge, which is an issue. That's unfortunate. Now I wish that I put the land underneath the Reforge. Pretty sure I can't cast this in my draw step. Yeah, I, I can't. Okay, so I think I'm going to shuffle my deck using the Reckless Handling. Grab Belcher. Pass the turn. We're pretty far away from winning here. 
the fury plus is draw land three i could try to just slam the belcher but we get wrecked by leyline binding i think it's probably worth the risk pass the turn and if they does get answered we have recrossed the paths to stack her deck again and there's a leyline binding a plus with the Teferi. Omnath. Sure. Windswept Teeth. I feel like I missed uh, the window this game. The Teferi got me. Now they're casting Fury, so next turn they're attacking for 10. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat that next game. We also left in Solitude for Megas of the Moon, so I don't want to board that in. Alright, we're just going to try to resubmit. Okay, so this seems pretty good. We'll keep this. Turn once by Field Hazard. Pass the turn. Okay. Manamorphos. Strike a Rich. Whoops. We'll play the uh, the Seagate land here. Reborn. Pass the turn. Basic Island. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, that was not very kind. We drew a Belcher. We have to pass the turn here. If they find Ren in six, we might just be done. The Fury, now they can bounce my treasure. Sacrifice it. Not looking good for the home team right now. Another red land, okay. They plus the Teferi. Nissa. Sure. They add a green, and now they're fetching. Risen Reef. Call Adamri's call, sure thing. Elish Norn. Okay, we found another land, that's good. I kind of want to check them here with a Belcher to see if they have a Leyline Binding. I'm going to Manamorphose first, because if I draw another Ritual, it might be better to wait. Oh, I, I can't play the Belcher here. What, what was I thinking? Uh, we'll do Red Red. Another Belcher. Okay, Striker Rich. Pass the turn. This would have to be an untapped land for me to play the Belcher that turn. The Fairy Pluses, Risen Reef. I think the play is actually, I'm not going to play Belcher next turn. I'm just going to flash back a Striker Rich, try to build up our mana. We have three copies of Iron Craig Feet that also win the game, so I could just recross the paths and put one of those on top. Draw, Spike Field Hazard, recross the paths. Turn Timber goes on top, and then... Iron Craig Feet, we'll put a uh, Shatter Skull in the middle there. And then a few more copies of Iron Craig Feet. Belcher, Explosives, uh, uh, any order after that. We'll put this on the bottom. Pass the turn. Omnath, okay. We'll auto yield to those abilities. Windswept Heath, okay. So assuming that they're on the list that did well this week, there's exactly, and I could be wrong here, but I believe two copies of Flusterstorm that I'm worried about. Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, you've got it. And they attack for four. They have six cards in hand. Draw. Iron Craig Feet. Let's attempt to play a Goblin Char Belcher. It's turn seven. Seven mana for Belcher activate. It makes sense to me. Point it at them. Leyline Binding. Sure. That the ability still resolves. Endurance themselves. Alright, I'm just going to hit the F6 key. I believe our opponent's dead here. They've made a bunch of mana. They find a Solitude that's not good enough. Sure. All of the abilities are on the stack. Maybe they're hoping that they can kill me with Omnath triggers in response. And now the Belcher activation, which would deal 51 when they're at 30. Alright, so it looks like we are victorious in match number 1. We're 1-0. Stick around, find out if we win the next 4.
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw, and well, this hand doesn't do anything, so we're going to mulligan. This hand is great. Keep. We will bottom a recross the paths. Budavolt. So maybe Merfolk. I don't think Merfolk is a matchup I really want to play. I'm going to hold this Spikefield Hazard for a turn. Because if I need to kill the Hex Catcher, I want that option. Another Vial. Okay. I think I'd actually love to draw a, another ritual here so I can slam the Belcher before Hexcatcher can stop me. Ding, ding, ding. Perfect. Okay. Jasper Ritual. Heretic Ritual. Goblin Charbelcher. Pass the turn. Curse Catcher says instant or sorcery, I believe, so they cannot Curse Catcher that Goblin Charbelcher. Vials go to one and two, respectively. Hither vial number three, sure. Let's see what they're doing here. I'm, I mean, if I were them, I wouldn't even show me what they're doing. Ooh, so it counters me target. Okay, this is actually good because now I need four mana to win. And I drew the extra mana source anyway. Virtual. Target them. Yes. There we go. Beat. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to board in Veil of Summer because I still think they're likely Merfolk, and Veil of Summer actually stops the Settled Mariner trigger that we just saw. I mean, I could also just pay the one that I'd use for Veil of Summer, but I think that they are, in fact, Merfolk. And I also think we likely want the Furies as well. 65 cards. I mean, I'm just going to talk out loud for a second. You could board out for Recross the Pads, an offer you can't refuse and then the reforge and then board in one more card like maybe the ascension I, I wouldn't hate that something like this let's try this out i do think that recross the paths is likely not good enough against a deck like merfolk where they have the hex catcher curse catcher counter magic in general i think this plan is ultimately not very good you get to keep in the engineered explosives though because that card is just good uh answers multiple vials you know, tons of creatures, whatever. Okay, game number two. This hand seems fine. We'll keep it. There's the island, looking more and more like Merfolk by the second. Draw. We'll play the hazard. Pass the turn. These reckless handlings are not very good when we already have Goblin Turbulture and Explosives. They just play a land and pass here. This screams Hexcatcher to me. Pass the turn. Okay, are you spirits? Is that what this is? Okay, so it is in fact merfolk. They're blue-white merfolk. There's Mutavolt. I need to draw a Fury. Draw another Ritual. Let's play the Pyromancer Ascension, see if this even resolves. They activate Mutavolt, and it looks like they're going to sacrifice it. Sure. Pass. The opponent plays a land... Revealing Lord of Atlantis. They play the Lord. Another attacking for two with four cards in hand. Untap land three. Anamorphos. Let's cast it. Red, green. We did find land three. It's just a tap land. I'm going to attempt to play explosives for two because I think that they'll use a creature to counterspell this. No, they let it resolve. That's interesting. Why would you let that resolve? Do you have like a prismatic ending in your hand? It's the only thing that makes sense to me here. I guess you could have an Ottawara. Another Ottawara. Master of Pearl Trident. Weird. Matt 10. What's the plan here? Petty Theft. Okay. Draw. Another tap land. They have two in hand. Desperate Ritual. They sacrifice a Master of Pearl Trident. 
I'm going to try to bait them here with another... By making them sacrifice another creature. Okay, so it looks like my ritual will resolve. They have five power in play. We'll play another ritual. So now they have to present lethal next turn. Pass. Three cards. One Lord Effect would put them up to seven damage, and a second Lord Effect would put them up to nine. So double Lord, I don't believe, wins them the, the game here. All right, I go to five. Another Petty Theft. Jeez, okay. Draw. Another Belcher. Explosives for two. Oh, they have Force of Negation. Sure, I'm dead. You got me. Okay. Let's go again. Game three, we're on the play. We have Belcher. We have Explosives. This hand seems good to me. Keep. Opponent with a Mulligan to five. I think I'm going to play the Hazard. I thought about holding it specifically so I could kill a Hexcatcher, but... With the Iron Craig feat, I think I want to get out my tap land early so that way I can maybe spike a ritual into a fast win. Aether Vial, sure. Draw. Fury. I think I'm going to play Explosives for one here and try to hit their Vial. Come on, no second land. Boo. Oracle's Recall me, sure. I have three cards in hand, and we just spiked what we need to try to win this turn. Yes. Ritual. Iron Craig Feet. Belcher. Target you. Pew pew. 2 0. It's been a while since I've played Belcher. This deck feels really good. Let's see if we can win the next three. Maybe get a trophy. I'll see you in the third match. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three on the draw, we will keep. We are a single mana away from a turn to win. I'm into that. We're going to try this out. Opponent has revealed an Obosh. That likely means we won't be disrupted if we find that additional mana source. All right, Pirate Spellbomb. There it is. We have a turn to win. Striker Rich. Pass the turn. They draw a card with the spell bomb. Time to party. Go to 14, because I love to lightning bolt myself. Ritual. Iron Craig Feet. Goblin Charbelcher. Sweet. Okay. Easy peasy. So we're facing an Obosh deck. We probably don't need these pact negations. Let's take those right out. Probably Force of Vigors. Those make sense to me. Maybe some Furies. Let's try this. Game number two, we're on the draw. Here I have two mana sources and a pair of mana Morphos. These reckless handlings that aren't very good in my opinion. So is two lands double Morphos good enough to keep? I think we could probably do better. This is decent. So the question is, do you keep land three or do you keep Force of Vigor or mana Morphos? I think I'm going to get rid of land three. Having Force of Vigor Morphos out of the gate for something like a, a Needle seems good to me. Mishra's Research Desk, okay. Draw. There's step number one. So now we need to find land three or another ritual. Personally, I'd like to hit another ritual just so that way I could have a pair of turn two wins because I think that'd be sweet. They're going to use the Research Desk. They can play another. You got it. On Ritual. Ding! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Heretic ritual. Desperate ritual. Iron Craig feet. Goblin charbelcher. I mean, this deck's just so easy, right? Every game should be like these two. Wow. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. 3-0.
you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Hey, welcome to round number four. This is actually a replay. Uh, my apologies, but I don't really have a good excuse. OBS crashed, and normally when that happens, it still ends up recording. This time it didn't. So we're going to go through match number four, and then we'll play match number five together. So, all right, here we go. I'm on the play. We have a hand with reckless handling. The plan here is to go get Goblin Charbelcher on the second turn. And then, assuming that everything goes correctly for us, we can protect the goblin charbelcher on turn three with this pact negation so you ritual out the goblin charbelcher they try to ley line binding it you pact of negation it and then you activate the belcher in your upkeep with the lose the game trigger on the stack that can't be a thing anymore because we accidentally discarded the pact of negation so it's off the table here they ley line binding the treasure which i think is the correct decision to make because you're never going to get an intelligent person on their belcher so here we're going to just you know continue to make treasures they'll keep on going after them using the ley line binding it makes sense and here they prismatic ending the treasure token so a little bit of a bummer but they're trying to keep us off mana and i do think that is the correct move here okay so we just need to sit pretty they play a nissa we don't really care about that card much and at this point they inform us that they're 4080 and i just don't respond to that because honestly uh it doesn't matter i'm never going to concede to anyone for so they can have a trophy like that's just silly it's just magic online but we were pretty lucky we drew the seventh mana we play the belcher and our opponent concedes that's game number one game two we mulligan we keep another reckless handling hand so i don't love this keep but i think it's probably better than your average five we play a turn one spike field cave, they fetch, who cares? They play a breeding pool, now we untap. We actually rip the belcher, so we no longer need to play the reckless handling. We play a striker rich, and once again, our opponent on the same game plan of keep me off treasure tokens. And honestly, I think it makes a lot of sense. All right, so here we play a manamorphose, looking for land three, we find it, we cast another manamorphose, and then we'll draw into a third. So we're just looking for more mana here. We make red, red, not blue, blue on accident. And then we play a pair of striker rich. So now we have six mana for the next turn. If we draw a ritual or an iron craig feat, we win the game. Okay, so our opponent fetches. They have four mana. What are they doing? It's a chalice of the void on two. So a ritual will not win anymore. So we flash back a striker rich. We now have seven mana. Our opponent will besage you a land, bring his back down to six. Any untapped land wins. We draw a ritual. So instead we flashback Striker Rich, we're back up to seven. The fairy. So what they were supposed to do here is go they were supposed to pick up their leyline binding and then uh exile a treasure. So I sacrifice the treasure, they don't get to draw a card. And then we just play Belcher Activate and win the match. So we are 4-0. Trophy time is coming up. I hope we get it. I haven't even recorded match five yet, so let's go get there. I'm sorry about the error with OBS. It was really out of my control. The program just crashed, but I'll apologize anyway. All right, match five coming up. Don't go anywhere. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alright, the fifth and final match for the trophy. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I think we're going to get it. I'm feeling good. And here we have Reckless Handling on two into Iron Craig Feet. Yeah, I'm into this. Keep. We will play the Valkyrie Awakening and pass the turn. Scalding Tarn. Draw. That was a good one. Yes. Reckless Handling. Goblin Charbelcher. We discarded a Strike at Rich. I think that was acceptable. And step they fetch a Ketria Triome. Is this creativity or the same elementals deck that we've been facing? Maybe neither. They foretold a card. I don't know what's going on here. 
draw. We want untapped land. There's untapped land. Now we just need to find ritual. Okay, let's metamorphose. And I mean, at the bare minimum, we could flashback Striker Ridge this turn. Red, green. Metamorphose. Red, green. There we go. Ding, ding. Iron Craig Feet. Goblin Char Belcher. One game away. This deck feels really good. <laughs> I mean, it's so good that I'm winning. I mean, that says something. So, one game away. Let's get that. I would really like that. Okay, so let's switch this back over to card view. Every time I restart Magic Online. Probably want Veil of Summer versus the deck that showed us a couple blue sources. What to board out? Usually against blue decks, I don't love Iron Crag, so I don't mind shaving on that and keeping one for your Recross the Paths pile. Maybe we'll shave one Reckless Handling. Let's try this. I don't have any definitive plans. I'm not the expert here. This is just me trying things. A whole lot of mana. Will Mulligan. This seems fine enough. We'll keep... Get rid of the Emirio's Call. Misty Rainforest. Spikefield Hazard was an amazing rip there, because that means I can play Reckless Handling on turn two now. Once again, the Ketria Triome is back. Basic Island. I foretold another card, sure. Draw. Bail Cut Awakening. Let's well, Reckless Handling. Goblin Char Belcher. We discarded... Desperate Ritual. Okay. I mean, I kind of wanted that, but not the end of the world. They played the Besaju. Interesting. Veil vale of Summer. I like that. Next turn, ideally, we would draw a Ritual, because if I do, I'd have Veil vale plus Pact Negation for their three cards in hand. Um, Actually, that would that doesn't work. My land was a tap land, but drawing the Shatter Skull here was good. I wonder if I'm supposed to cycle this Manamorphose at some point. Behold the Multiverse. Are you Scapeshift? Is that what's going on here? They put two cards on the bottom with their scries, and then they immediately fetch. Okay, they have five cards in hand. And step will cycle Manamorphose. Red, green. Recross the paths, okay. A Striker Rich. Goblin Charbelcher. That resolved. Interesting. Uh, so do you have a Prismari command? Maybe a Force of Vigor? It was in fact Force of Vigor. I'm going to attempt to pack this. A Force of Negation and I will Veil of Summer. So if they have another way to destroy an artifact, I'm dead. They play their land. Looks like they're going to draw a card here with the Fiery Islet. Draws up to three. Let's attempt to goblin charbelt you. 5 0 trophy! We've done it. Yes! Beautiful. Okay. Let's open all, see what we get. Cultivator Colossus. Decimator of Providences. Nothing worth money that I can see. Stuff that's like 8 tickets, actually. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Uh, this deck was amazing. Thank you to Micrograms for the list. Uh, I mean, it was just great. I have no real complaints. I think that Reckless Handling was the perfect card for this deck. What a great find. And uh, no real feedback. I mean, the Ascension is whatever. I think that's one slot. If you want to play it, have for, like go for it. It could also be a fourth Veil of Summer, and I think that would be completely fine. But I loved the deck list. Once again, Micrograms, shout outs to you for all of the work you put in. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.